struggling in, with, um, with what to paint, with how to paint, what's, you know, how am I going to fit into this? I can't really fit into this huge thing that was New York that was overwhelming and the art scene that was happening that was very explosive at the time and, and expressive. And so, um, you know, after about a year of struggling, I literally one day I piled everything in my studio up into a big pile and I wrapped it all up in the, in the <laughs> canvas I was working on and I threw it out. Yes, I threw it out. Well, not since then. We won't let it throw away then. anything. Except for a couple of pieces of it. Yeah, they got away from us. Yeah. And then I decided I had to start over. I had to figure out what I was doing and where, you know, I didn't know what to do. Right. And so I made these three. I had this, I don't know if it was from, I did have a teacher at Berkeley. This, she was a New York artist, Mira Shore, who's still, you know, pretty, you know, shows a lot and writes a lot in New York. And she had told me at one point when I was in Berkeley and painting these big sloppy paintings that I should really work small. I remember that I was having this conversation with her and she, I pointed to a painting that's probably about this big on the wall. I said, look, I'm painting, I think small. She said, no, I'm really small. And I had those words in my head, I didn't know what that meant. But when I really didn't know what to do, I made these three, that time I made these three little canvases that were about this big. And I decided I was going to paint what I knew. I had to know where every mark was going, what every color meant, what every line meant. I painted a couple little simple self-portraits and a star, because I felt like, well, I know what a star shape is. <laughs> and that's when I started painting small. And I think it was a way for me to kind of make sense, for me to make sense of, of you know, again, where every, what marks making meant and what, what color meant, and, and also to separate myself a little bit from these big, crazy things that were going on in, right. in Soho and doing my own thing. Yeah. Didn't really answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did, you did. But so, that, yeah. Yeah, well. Well, I think now it's different. You know, now um, I still think of what I do is very painterly. Um, only my, you know, my palette is filled with little bits of things. So I have these things all over the studio and paint and papers and whatever, all the stuff that you see. And, you know, I kind of, um, it's all more about this process of just kind of putting things together and, um, you know, kind of just building on that dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, um, jumping off of that, I'll just ask you a lot more, I'll drill down a little bit. First of all, I just want to know, because I've heard this before and I don't know the answer, when you say painterly, what do you mean? Well, I mean, um, I mean that, the dis I guess, it's, I was, well, what is painting? Painting is about, a little bit about, you know, mark making, and I think these are about mark making. It's about line and drawing, and I think some of these are about line and drawing. It's about um, color and color relationships, and these, some, to me, are about simple color relationships. It's about, um, you know, touch. These are about touch. It's about, about these kind of lyrical passages sometimes, and I think sometimes, for me, that's what these are about, too. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's about, in that way, to me, they're, it's about painting and like painting that way. Okay. Um, they hang on the wall, mm -hmm. mostly. Mm -hmm. um, I add things instead of subtract, so like where I think of sculpture, which I don't know what that is either, you know. Well, it's it's, my next, you, you know, you're answering my next, one of my questions, which was your, what you said in your statement about, oh, damn. I think of everything as painting, and basically there's no such thing as sculpture. Well, I don't know what that's true. I should say that. Yeah. But I don't know what sculpture is. I mean, to me, again, painting is additive. I'm adding things. And then maybe I'll take it away. And I add and take it away. And that's how I work. That's sort of what, you know, how things happen in the studio. Add, put things together. Mm -hmm. That seems right. Something else that didn't work. Take this off. And that's how I, you know, to me, that's what painting was about. Too. Sure. Well, no, I think that was really helpful because you talked about Mark making line and color and, and, and movement. And, and I think that kind of answers for me anyway sort of what you were getting at with this sense of um, uh, there's the painting starts and, and doesn't end and, and so in that sense it occupies space that could be in two dimensions or three so is that huh? you said painting starts and well it can be um, movement it can be shape it can be lyrical as you right. said it just seemed to me that that also would take you beyond simply two dimensions. Right. Or I could. 
Right. At least the well, it did. I mean, it started with painting, and that's what it did. Yeah. You know, and then I again, a, 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 you know, struggling with paint and layers and texture yeah. and putting things in the paint and. Great, great. So, um, subject matter-wise, or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe process-wise, I don't know, because I think that the nice thing is that you have said that you try not to edit yourself. You, you know, try to go into your studio and play and, right. um, and see what happens. You don't want to limit yourself to one thing, but you may go back and then repeat one thing multiple times. Right. So, you know, we're looking around at your exhibition and, and um, you know, I, I see a number of things that I was just wanting to sort of hear you talk about. One is the use of light and reflection. That's one. Um, another one is sort of the, um, the, the painting in, in monotypes that you've done. Um, another one would be the words, the words, the use of words and word play. Um, and I just wondered if, if you wanted to, um, kind of talk about any of those or, or any that you want to sort of tell us a little bit about what your process was in terms of coming to those. Um, you can pick one, you can pick the Guernica globe up on the wall and just talk about that if you if that's easier. Um, well I think it goes that, I mean, there's kind of a progression looking yeah, back sure. from the painting and then working small. I think it started with working small because working very small, like, you know, those first paintings and the paintings I started painting really small for a while, you know, things became very much about context. So in the sense of this object, this little thing, if I put it someplace, it's nothing, really. I mean, if I have a big painting I'm carrying around the room, the apartment or the studio, it's a painting over here, it's a painting over here, it's a painting. If I have this little thing, if I hang it on the wall right there with the light shining on, then it's a, it's a painting. And, and yet, if I drop it on the floor, it's going to fall through the cracks of the floor. <laughs> so it started to become like, where do I put these things? Okay, I have these little things, where do I put them? And so I started looking for places to put them. I started to build little spaces to put them in, to give them some context. And uh, from there, I started to get more interested in these spaces I was building and the relationship between the thing and the space, and then it became about that. Um, and then I realized, well, the same kind of thing, like picking apart painting, I started to pick apart these spaces, and what are they made out of? I'm making little lights, and I've got you know, a little bit of paint and these little materials, and then I kind of started to look at those, and maybe I can do different things with those. And uh, the first thing I did with those was make little models. I made these three or four little models. They were like models, but they had some little moving things. They were like moving paintings, really. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I use the city as a, uh, as a subject for me. It always has been since I moved there. Again, trying to make sense. It all kind of comes together. Uh, making sense of the city and by looking at it and painting it. And sometimes literally sitting on the street and painting it and looking at it. And so I kind of stuck to that. Um, there's a lot of words in the city. There's a lot of signs, there's advertisements. Started to draw some of that stuff. And so when I, really when I went to, uh, to purchase, it was not that long ago, um, you know, 10, 11 years ago. And that's where you got your MFA? That's where I got my MFA. And that's when I started, I took those little models and those little boxes and all the stuff, like the little movie paintings, and just broke it apart. And then started to just use the bits of the wood and the bits of paint and the light and a little bit of word and maybe a little car that I made and just start to bring it out into this space and, and work with it here. And that's sort of the beginning of this process that I have now, just finding all the stuff and looking around me and picking things up and, and making stuff out of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that making sense? Yeah, it made a lot of sense. So what age group are you teaching art to? Kindergarten to fifth grade. Mm -hmm. and what have you learned uh, in the process of teaching young kids well, I was about just art? Talking about, it with, I'm just they're not they were here in my life, but about drawing. I'm sorry, someone who was mentioned drawing, and that she saw a lot of drawing here. And about, I mean, I think the great thing, there's a lot of great things about teaching young kids art. One thing is for me as an artist is I really learned a lot about. Um, first of all, what, like, what, not what art is so much, but why people make art. 
and seeing these young, young kids who all make art, and they all are engaged, and they all seem to want to and need to make it. They are communicating. They're communicating with the world through their work. They're communicating with the physical world, the materials, with each other. They have these dialogues. Oh, I'm going to put a sun in the corner. Oh, I'm going to put a sun in the corner, too. <clears throat> you know, that kind of thing, and that's really exciting. And then for, as a teacher, to kind of break things all the way down. The drawing, for example, when I teach drawing to kindergartners, that first day we're teaching drawing, I go up to the board and say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw something on the board. And don't shout out, raise your hand, and tell me what it is. And I go up and I do that with a marker on the board. And they raise their hand, they say, it's a line. It's great, and then we, for the next six years, we're building on that with drawing. Drawing is a line, and then what else is it? It's a line that goes this way, this way, this way. Oh, if you do this, all of a sudden it turns into a shape. How did that happen? <laughs> then you take shapes and you put them together. It's a house now. It's a, how, did, how did that happen? You put a triangle and a square. It's a house. Mm -hmm. So I think for me to go back and try to break that up, do you remember any of that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I could do that very young as a student, though. Yeah. In kindergarten, mm -hmm. though. Not that young. Not that young, but now I've been there a while. Yeah. Um, but I think that's wonderful to try to to pick things apart and try to understand what drawing is and from the beginning, what painting is and why you do it, why I do it. Um, that kind of playfulness that, that the kids are involved in, that kind of energy is, is, is really exciting. So that stuff is really good. It's very tiring. <laughs> it's students this oh year. Oh my god. Wow, that's amazing. That's a lot. Yeah, for anyone who was here at the opening, you know that um, a lot of current students, a couple of former students, came to the yeah. opening with their parents, and you know, were really completely at home. You know, they, they I mean, great.